Well, we have a clear man, or I have a clear mandate from my bosses that when I started, the idea was to make the European Parliament more hospitable and also more open for NGOs, but for youth, for citizens to come and express their views and to come and meet with, uh, with the MEPs, but also with other actors from committees, from uh, different political groups. And so since I've been in my position, I focused a lot on working with different NGOs and different groups who represent vulnerable minorities, but also from the majority population. And on a, con on a, on a weekly basis, I meet with five or six NGOs. These NGOs, not only do I meet with them, but they also co-host events with us. They provide inputs for Im amendments that we will table. And also, you know, they provide speaking points and uh, suggestions for speaking points for members of parliament when there's an oral debate on a particular issue around anti-discrimination. It's also that something we've been doing is trying to uh, make the other European institutions, the European Commission, the European External Action Service, which is the EU's foreign, foreign service, also come in line with our approach. So one way we do that is by uh, arranging meetings between the Commission, the European External Action Service and the NGOs. And it's also that when we organize um, events and hearings within the European Parliament, we make sure to always have one or two NGOs present to speak. And then there's of course other NGOs who can take the floor in the question and, and answer part. But at these events, we have the Commission there, we have members of European Parliament there, and so NGOs can directly interlock with their, with their counterparts in the institutions. Now I believe, and my, I know my boss's family believe, that this reach, this reach out has to be extended, and we have to go beyond the Brussels bubble, beyond the NGOs that are based in Brussels, but also in member states, because there's a clear conflict between what's happening at Brussels level and at member states level. And if we want better implementation, because the EU is often misunderstood. The, the role of the EU is to be a watchdog, but also to put forward legislation and policies. And implementation of the legislation and policies come at member state level. So when people take shots or when people fire aims at the EU in a negative way, it's often that the EU has legislated, but member states are not uh, implementing that legislation or policies. We see this with the Roma strategies, we see this with you know, the framework decision on racism, racism and xenophobia, we see this also with the Victims' Crime Directive, that implementation by member states is not being done. And that's why it's vital that we get NGOs from the member states to come here, meet with us, so that they know which legislation and policies are available to them to, to push and lobby their government to you know, implement but also to you know up uphold.